I came to America with only $50, knowing no one in this country could hardly speak English, even though I was poor, but I was happy because I was free. Dr. Ming Wang is an internationally acclaimed laser eye surgeon who has pioneered multiple vision correction techniques. His life story is told in the film, Sight. When he came to America as a poor Chinese immigrant, he saw only opportunity and eventually earned a PhD in laser physics from MIT and an MD from Harvard. I came from China as an atheist. I believed nothing but science. I was studying the structure of eye in med school, and I realized that the human eye is so complicated. Trillions of trillions of cells has to line up perfectly for visual signal capturing and interpretation. If any one of those cells gets out of line, the person will be born blind. So I had a big problem, and the atheist me at the time, that how could so many cells form in such a short period of time out of randomness? So I kept on asking a professor, and he said, I mean, what's a cross street? I said, that's, that's a car. He said, what's the difference between a car and a human eye? As a human eye is a lot more complicated. He said, okay, can you imagine how random pieces of metal form itself into a car? I said, no way. And he said, how about human eye? So right there, he opened a window in my life, making me realize that it was formed with a specific purpose for vision. So there's a designer, a creator behind that. And I start with my journey, um, believing first there's a creator, there's a God, and later on, more specifically, the God is in the form of Jesus Christ. And Christ has died for our sin so that we could have a chance for eternity. Dr. Wang began his career at Vanderbilt University in Asheville, Tennessee. Years later, he started the Wang Vision Institute, establishing a foundation to restore sight for orphans from around the world. Well, so far, I've done 55,000 laser vision corrections, including on over 4,000 doctors. Our foundation, we've been able to help many, many patients from around the world, from over 55 countries. Uh, dedicated to blind orphan children. Kajal, a little girl from India, had acid poured in her eyes by her stepmother. Prayerfully, he attempted surgery, but was crushed with disappointment. The surgery failed because her damage was too severe to be repaired when I opened her eyes during the surgery. My Christian faith was fundamentally shaken at that time. I felt that if it's God, you're so loving, why would let you something horrible happen in the first place? But even if it happened, why didn't you answer our prayer to trying to rescue Kajal's eyesight in such a helpless, precious child? So for many months, I was very down, and I felt that I couldn't continue this line of work to help more blind orphan children, and I felt that um, God didn't care to answer our prayer. That year, at his annual fundraising event called The Eyeball, Kajal and her host families were special guests. One of the boys that spent time with Kajal throughout the year sensed something that surprised Dr. Wang. The boy turned around, talked to his father behind him, said, Dad, I'm okay. I don't need an iPod anymore. So standing on the side with Kajal on my side, I was looking at the boy. All of a sudden, something dawned on me that Kajal's suffering and how she dealt with it, she was able to move on, do the best with what life has dealt with her, and still find a joy and happiness in her life, has positively impacted uh, those kids around her, make those uh, American kids who grew up in this country appreciate more what they have. So I realized that Kajal, even though she couldn't see, there's no light coming from outside. Uh, light could emanate from within if one has love. So I've come to realize that as a Christian, the ultimate test of the strength of our faith is not when we pray something, God immediately give us what we pray for. It's when we pray something, God seemingly did not answer the prayer and give us what we want. Can we still maintain faith and the confidence in Him, believing that He will answer? but in his way, at his time. Today, Dr. Wang continues to help orphans regain their vision. 
His autobiography, From Darkness to Sight, is now a major motion picture. He hopes his journey will help others start theirs. Seeing the film Sight will make the young people in America realize today they do not have to choose between science or faith. They can choose science and faith. So by making a case to the young people, many of them are rapidly leaving churches. The science and faith to work together in this very rapid developing scientific era, we have the best chance to bring those young people back to church. Oh, I love this story. What an amazing testimony, even in Dr. Wang's life, because, you know, God took him from being blind and now he can see. He once was blind and now he sees and now he's helping many, many around the world to have physical sight. But it started with God giving him spiritual sight first. What a beautiful story. We are so grateful for what God's doing in and through his life. And you can actually be on the lookout for the movie about his life. It's called Sight. It stars Terry Chen as Dr. Wang, as well as Oscar nominee Greg Kinnear. And it's been nominated for multiple awards. So to get more information, to watch the trailer, you can do so by going to sightthemovie.com. Hello, I'm Gordon Robertson. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more encouraging videos like this one. Welcome to the 700 Club Interactive Family, and God bless you.